be the plan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the plan, that's what they call me Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Thomas, and I'm back again today with another fragrance video. And today is a hauling video, which means I went to all the rack stores that I can get to today in a two hour frame and I went splurging. And today I picked up five uh, pretty decent fragrances, I hope. Um, and uh, we'll go over the fragrances that I got. We'll show you how much I spent. And unlike some of those other guys that say they spent like $8 on a bottle of like uh, Aventus at TJ Maxx, they never have the proof. I have proof of what I spent so you guys don't get your hopes up high trying to run out to one of these stores and get one of these for a cheap price. So I'm not going to lie to you guys about a price. going to be straightforward. But anyways, I know everybody has this. This is Tommy Bahamas St. Kitts. I uh, heard this one was pretty good. And no, I did not get this one cheap. Uh, did not get this on clearance, but it was $19 for a 3.4 ounce. Tommy Bahamas does have uh, uh, their own store. If you got these at the store, they'd be about $80. So $20 is always a good price then. So, right? But. <clears throat> All right, there you guys go. I know you guys know all about this St. Kitts. Heard all about it. This is the first time I've ever, ever smelt it or seen this bottle in my hand. So, $19. Here you go. We're going to smell it. Let's see. Let's go right there. Now, pretty cool bottle. This one, you are going to have to wait a couple of seconds before you just go sniffing because if you sniff right away, it's going to smell just like straight up alcohol, but you let it settle just for about 13, uh, 14, 15 seconds here. And to me, that smells like you're at an ocean sitting on the sand, got yourself a nice uh, margarita or something like that. And looking at the um, palm trees, but that's what that reminds me of, the palm trees on the back. But that is St. Kitts, Tommy Bahama, $19, TJ Maxx. Second one was another Bahama, Tommy Bahama. And this one is Set Sail Martinique. Uh, I heard a lot about this one. This one is also $19. Was not fortunate to get this on a clearance. Usually when these go on clearance at TJ Maxx, usually you can get them for about, uh, usually like $16. Last time I checked, so. From $19 to $16, so. I uh, would have loved to save that three extra bucks, but $19 is not that bad. Again, they got the same bottle. It's the same kits. Same. Kind of like a half moon. Maybe it's supposed to um, uh, imitate kind of like a sail ship, that little there. But cool caps on these. Again, nice bottle. Um, only thing is, it's kind of wide. So if you don't have really big hands when you're going to spray it, you're going to have to hold it in a weird way. Probably best to put the actual sprayer to the side. And I think that's probably going to be your best way of spraying this one. But uh, let's go ahead and smell this one. Pretty good atomizer. Again, both just smell like you're on a beach, um, but there's just a little difference in both of them. Um, either way, they're both pretty good fragrances. Um, I'll let you guys know what I think later on. But, yeah, that's kind of like Woody and... Almost like sandy, almost sandy Wexler. <laughs> but yeah, that's what those smell like. Alright. Beach. Beach in a bottle. Pretty cool bottles. Nice, nice scents on both of those. Again, both of those were $19. TJ Maxx. One more from TJ Maxx, and I was actually uh lucky to get this one on clearance. 
Um, usually these are pretty cheap at TJ Maxx already. So um, did save three dollars, and that is the Penguin Iconic Blend. Originally fourteen ninety nine. I got it on clearance today for twelve bucks. So nice three dollars savings. Can't beat that. But let's go ahead and test this sucker up. And those uh those rack stores are uh, getting cleaned out though, man. Nice heavy bottle, nice matte black finish. I like that. Uh, pretty cheap cap. Crappy looking atomizer, honestly. That um looks like that should be sold at the Dollar Tree. But it doesn't matter about the actual look of the atomizer, but if it can spray good, that's all that we care about, right guys? And that's actually a really good atomizer, actually. I like that. Ooh, wow. Definitely another one that you're gonna have to let settle a little bit because you do get a lot of alcohol in it, but you get a little bit of citrus and maybe some sandalwood or something in there. But man, I like that. Definitely nothing unique, but it's definitely not gonna uh, offend anybody, so. Um, for this one right here, twelve dollars. If you can get that for twelve dollars, even if you have to spend fourteen ninety nine, I think it's worth it. But you can definitely get this for twelve dollars. Definitely pick it up. I like it. Pretty good bottle. Pretty good smell. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I'm not a, you know, I got tons of fragrances. I'm not like one of those guys that knows about every single um, uh, note breakdown or whatnot. But you know, I just go off. Of, I like it or not so I like it smells great all right next from Ross you just seen me take that wrapper off $16.99 and for $16.99 we got this bad boy here this is a Zaro fun now I was a little skeptical about this because on the bottom of the box it does say Eau de Toilette, and then it says a vape a uh, splash and spray so I'm hoping this isn't just a splash bottle that I get when I open it it says splash and spray so I'm just hoping it's just a regular sprayer but 3.4 ounce um, these actually came out in 2019 they got I believe one other uh, version of this which is a Zaro uh, C I got a Zaro fun and I also got a Zaro shine as well both 16.99 Oh yeah, got lucky enough. Yep, it's a sprayer. That is a Zaro Fun. Nice little bottle. Nice round. Fits good in the hand. That's that's a perfect bottle in the hand. Pretty decent cap. It's plastic, but it's got a little weight to it. But let's see. Don't really got any. Um, don't got any uh, tester strips in the house, but I do got some iconic penguin box oh man that's a really nice atomizer that's one of those um atomizers that you can control based off how hard you are pressing on it but that is a nice atomizer you guys oh man getting like a nice blast of grapefruit in there grapefruit aquatic Man, it almost smells like, if you've ever smelled like a grapefruit or even like one of those lemon or orange mamba candies, exactly what that smells like. I think these are um, unisex, so uh, male and female, but that's nice. That's definitely a nice summer fragrance. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Nice. And again, last but not least... There it is, Azaro Shine. Um, like I said, they uh, looked up this um, bottle when I was at Ross. They had another one, which was C. Should have picked all three of them up because they did have them, but 
I figured C would be sort of like these Tommy Bahamas, so that's why I didn't get it. So we're pretty other team. Shine, almost the same bottle. I think um, one is yellow, one is orange. So there you have it. It is Zaro. I'm assuming it's gonna have the same atomizer, pressure sensitive. Let's go and see. Oh man, that's nice. And so that's probably why what the difference is between these two. It almost smells very similar. Now this one has like that orange look and this one has that yellow. This one smells more like grapefruit in the opening. This one smells more like lemon. So that's probably your differences right there. Oh, but that's beautiful. I like that. Those are some great pickups right there for $16 each. Um, but there you guys have it, man. Cool little hauling video. Um, TJ Maxx and Ross today. Um, total probably spent under $100 for five fragrances. Um, $32, 40 yeah, about $100 for all those. So there you guys have it, man. Hope you guys like that video. Appreciate that. Uh, if you guys like and uh, comment on this video and then subscribe, I would appreciate that, guys. Love you guys. Peace out. Yeah.